Look, I think it's time for us to get to the bottom of this. Not going to do no intro. I'm not going to do no yes, stop, pause. I think that today, this is going to really answer all our questions, all right? So a lot of people have been wondering, have 2K has been listening? Your favorite content creator, a lot of people tweet about 2K. You get under there, you read every single comment, you see that they say, hey, 2K is not listening. 2K don't care about us. Well, I think today, the truth has came out. This guy right here, okay? He probably needs over a million, he, he, need, he needs over a million followers. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just, I know it's a little billion, it's a little crazy. This guy just exposed everything. And this is playing why your content creators is beefing with the devs and beefing with 2k and all along 2k has been listening now we know who they're listening to so look before we get into this video i i ask y'all to subscribe like up the video comment and we're almost to 20k man so if y'all can get us to 20k i really appreciate it all right so let's get into the banger all right um this guy right here has been posting like crazy and he has exposed everything all right now what's starting this was somebody said 2k18 was better than 2k22 and this guy said i had enough and as you see he's been posting tons tons of things okay so the thing that i want to highlight that he posts and i mean you can go back and look at these i mean he was talking about rival day okay and everybody's like why are we having so many rival days who told 2k to keep doing rival days rival days suck all this and that all right now listen to with um g-man had to say about this all right this was his ideal rival day okay i hit up duke and he says he wants rival day with the winners getting a new park that's exactly how it was in 2k16 you feel me they had a little championship run you know rivet ended up winning nobody knows how the hell they won they literally had like the least amount of players i'm pretty sure but you know hey whatever you know float your boat 2k but hey bring it back bring that it was back. a fun thing and there's a lot more YouTubers and content creators out here now than there were back in 2K16. So, you know, we could actually do something with that championship stuff. We could actually make it some real beef. You feel me? We could fight. Ain't nobody going to fight me, though, because I hate what a motherfucker. And that's what we have. He literally told 2K, bring back Rival Day. We need Rival Day. Give us new courts every time you win Rival Day. Whoever win Rival Day gets a new court. What has 2K has been doing? What have 2K been doing? I, I got more, man. I got more, man. This is a person, I don't know who voice this was, but they was complaining about, okay, that, you know, leveling up and rep was too easy. I mean, too hard, okay? And they needed another process on making hit legend easier all right now check this out if y'all think i'm lying you know i have stuff like as you guys know like call of duty has double xp weekend and stuff like that i feel like we need to add like a double rep weekend and stuff like that because most of you guys know on nba 2k16 it was extremely hard this year to get legend 5 i'm not sure if they want to keep it like this but um i feel like it needs to be a, a tiny bit more easier to get rep and something simple as you know on rival day weekend if you beat a rival you get double rep or something like that i feel like that would be extremely great for nba 2k7 i don't know who voice that is but that's what 2k has been doing every weekend has been like two times rep and the rep system is way more easier it's way more easier now this one cut the kick right here i ain't gonna lie to you this was mind-blowing okay and this is you know um solo df saying this now he's the main one the df clan has been the main one complaining about how bad these seasons are and you won't believe when you see this watch this my wish list is new record words you know 2k keeps bringing back things like the skateboard the hoverboard just cool like keep bringing those back but add a new record word like you could add different animals into the game and i think animals. in 2k16 there was the tiger if you guys remember that they could add animals like monkeys or birds you know basically start adding pets into the game i think that would be pretty on my wish list hey, you heard it he said animals tigers and birds what have 2K added in NBA 2K22 this year? Tigers and birds. I, I, you, you can't make this up. This is what I'm saying. 
Y'all favorite content creators that y'all like every single day, that y'all go crazy for, they've been the one that had these ideas in 2K Listen, and this is why the few is back and forth. Because I think what 2K don't want to do is they don't want to come out and say, hey, no, y'all calling people out and saying, yo, you content creator, you this, this, and that, this, and that, you call these rep rewards to be this, you call for these season passes, we gave them to y'all, and how dare you stab me behind my back and talk Talk about the game is trash where these are your ideas and I'm just bringing forth it. You beat us down. Beat our door down. Boom, 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 boom. Asked us, hey, can you put these rep rewards in? And look, look now. They got them in. It didn't work. Nobody wants to take the blame. Content creators got to take the blame because this is what y'all wanted. This is what y'all wanted. And yes, I'm a content creator, but I had no input in this. You know, I'm pretty sure when all this was going on, I didn't have a logo. Probably didn't even know Ronnie Dan when all this was going on. This is like this was said in 20 and some in 21. But this right here proves, okay, that it's not NBA 2K that is doing this. It's the content creators they're listening to. And behind closed doors, we all knew they was listening to someone. We all knew this, but we didn't know. But now we know. And it's even a double-edged sword because these people that is complaining. And I'm just going to be honest with you. The, the content creators y'all know of, the big content creators, they're complaining. These are their ideas that they did. And 2K just wanted to put them in there, man. I mean, it, I, it can go on and on and on about so much, man. It can go on and on. This guy is just posting, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man, because I don't lie to you. This guy has been on a mission, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. It's so much stuff in here, man. You can go in here and find it yourself. You know, a lot of y'all don't have Twitter, so I wanted to bring it to y'all attention. Um, his um, name is Video Game Takes, and this guy went in demon time. He went in Dima mode with this, man. So, look, I appreciate y'all. We almost 20K, man. And um, please like up, please subscribe. And also to this, man, let's take today to stop blaming 2K fully. Like, I know 2K probably, you know, made some mistakes, and we all do. But now we know the truth of the majority of what's going on, what's really going on behind closed doors. And I really think that this should be taken to initiative and not letting this be dead and letting and letting people be accountable and held for what's going on in the 2K community, all right? I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. King up. Let's go. And also, too, also, too, I don't have a problem with content creators giving ideas but i do have a problem when content creators don't take the blame for their idea just let y'all know we out let's go